people of the purple butterfly here, otherwise known as people of seven on Twitter and YouTube and people of elsewhere on the internet. And this is Weight Check Week Number Two. When last we did the weight check, the scale said 179. It was a bit depressing for me. Y'all know this. Um, I didn't do a diet because, well, I can't. Just that, that doesn't work for me. Foods must have taste. If they don't taste right, I won't eat them. If, you know, I'm not eating the foods I'm supposed to eat, then I'll resort to the junk food. I know myself very well, so I don't do light foods. I don't do diet foods. What I did was food modification, like, you know, we just had Christmas holidays and such. There's still cake and stuff downstairs. So instead of getting a big chunk, chunk, chunk of cake, slither of cake, I made little changes like that for the whole week. I had my brother pull the body burner from behind the couch. Had to. I can't lift that couch by myself. And he's got a big uh, entertainment system there now because, you know, it wouldn't sit in the basement when, you know, he was putting all his stuff in the house when he moved back in. So his muscles blocked the couch. His muscles had to get it out of there for me. And he goes, you're not really going to bounce on that thing. I was like, of course I am. I had this exercise mat is huge that, you know, it's literally gym quality that I've had forever. And I had been meaning to, you know, do this, but I hadn't got around to it. But now I'm motivated because 179 is not an option. <laughs> okay, 180, not an option. Anyway, I measured uh, with my body burner, added two inches and cut it so now it has a surface to put you know the body burner on so that way when i jumped upstairs mind you there was no rebounding sound downstairs because that's why i stopped using it in the first place every time i bounced on it mom would hear and go take that thing outside which is fine on the porch in the summertime but in the wintertime and the cold air, you're not trying to be outside exercising on a little mini trampoline. But anyway, I used my little spare room in there. I call it my sitting room. It was going to be my knit station, but, you know, I still prefer to knit sitting on my bed. So that kind of didn't work out. But anyway, I did a 10-minute workout on it, and there was no complaints from downstairs. I was... You know, I told him I was going to bounce for three minutes, and she goes, I could deal with three minutes. But ten minutes later, no one complained. When I asked her about it, she couldn't hear it. This thing effectively absorbed all the noise and all the, you know, tension or whatever. It's like this thick. I can't remember where I got that thing, but I saved the other half of it just in case. Because, you know, if there is a noise or whatever, I can always put it under the one that's already there on the floor. Plus, it's exercise mat, so I can always use it to exercise on should I ever decide to, you know, do like push-ups and sit-ups and those exercises that hurt that I don't do. Anyway, I parked further away, so I had to walk. I restarted work this week. Found out real quick Driving a bus, if you have taken a two-week break, is tiring. Now I know why I always go to sleep right after work the first week of school. My knee, my ankle, my thighs were both burning. My one foot just felt sore because putting your foot on the brake, putting your foot on the accelerator. And buses generally weigh 30,001 pounds, and you can't just stop them like you stop a car. Anyway... I said all that to say this. The scale, when I just did my weight check, said 177. Ha! <laughs> 177. Two pounds released into the atmosphere not to come back. And as you can tell, I'm happy about that. And I'm going to call this releasing the weight instead of losing the weight because I have found my brain is literal. So when I put something in there mentally like I'm going to lose the weight, 
your brain goes, lose? Oh, I've lost something. Let me go find that. And then you look up and you got it back. And apparently I'm not the only one because that's how the term yo-yo dieting showed up. People lose, then they gain. Then they lose, then they gain. Then they lose. And it's like a yo-yo. No, no. <laughs> but when you release something, you're not looking for it. You tell your brain, I've released this weight. That means I sent it over there. It can go wherever it wants to now. So... I'm releasing weight. I'm down to, I got 18 more to go. And now I don't have to worry about all those clothes I bought the first time I lost the weight. I will be able to get back into those. I will be able to wear more than just the four outfits that fit. And that's doing so much on the laundry. It's like wear a pair of pants, wear a pair of pants, wear a skirt, wear a pair of pants, wash the clothes. Wear the same, 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 same. Wash your clothes. The clothes in the 10 to 12 size range, I have enough pair of pants to wear a different pair almost four months, and you never see the same pair twice. I got that many shirts. I got a whole wardrobe, so I could pick and choose and wash laundry as needed. But in the size that I allow myself to go back up to around Christmas and Thanksgiving, four. And that's only because that was left over from when I did weigh more. And somebody said, never throw out all of your fat clothes. And I went, ah, oh, give me a break. Well, they were right, because then if you have a setback and a span, you still got to have clothes on your body, because, you know, you don't want to get arrested for indecent exposure. Anyway, this has been P plus 7, who now weighs 177, 177, 177. And now I'm going to go back in there and get on my body burner and bounce around for another 10 minutes. I've done that three times in the past week. So between the reduced calorie intake and the extra vitamin intake and the bouncing around, it has resulted in two pounds off my body. I was only going for a pound a week. I got two people who, so y'all stay blessed and get yourself a mini trampoline or do something that moves a muscle, go for a walk, do something, burn those calories, and y'all stay blessed. This is People 7, and my blog is located, I almost forgot again, didn't I, at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com. Stay blessed. Bye.